welcome to Feather and Down Homestead. Today we are going to be doing a big harvest. Let's see what we can find. First up, we are picking peaches. And that one will be nice. Can I have a bite? Can I have a bite? Feel free. Get that taste from yours. Mm. Oh, well. <laughs> that is good. Raven would like a bite. No, Raven. Halfway through picking the um, berries, I think, probably halfway. Um, and Enzo is still sleeping in here. And they're right. Your nose looks so big on this camera. You want to take it? Put them in the ice cream container. Good boy. Right, but um, yeah. I can't, so I'm gonna go see if they've missed any. Mm. Matilda thinks the green ones are nice, so um. It's decent. I've lost my voice again. I just realized these have like been cut or something. They've been cleaned up. That's um why this place looks half decent. Well, this area is pretty nice. And then you go over here and you're like, oh yeah, there's a lot of berries. That's amazing. And then there's grass. I found your other hiding spot in so. So we're not getting an awful lot of beans today. I've only just picked um, beans the other day. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys uh, how many nice tomatoes we have got coming up if we can get on top of the birds coming in and eating them. So Luke's noticed as they're going yellow or starting to go red, the birds are shredding them. So we've got a plan and uh, keep an eye on what we're gonna do to solve that problem. Right, so corn, eggplant, carrots, all growing beautifully.
So uh, Luke left these behind, garlic, onion, may as well chuck them in the basket. Next up we are going to be taking some of this rhubarb which is growing nicely at the moment. Always good for on a crumble or with some yogurt. Um, one thing I've been reading about is making a natural insect spray with the leaves of the rhubarb plant. So I am going to give that a go. Keep watching to see, uh, in a future video, probably not this one, if it makes a difference. We are almost done. Just got some more cucumbers, corn, potatoes, and a bunch of bananas to pick. It's actually fine. Are you just saying that because I'm recording you or? No, it's nice on the inside. It's not even sour. Um, and then there's some cucumbers to come and I think Raven's found a red tomato. I found these two like black tomatoes. Do you think they're pretty? Yeah. Right, you want to pick them? Yeah. I'm going to eat one. You're going to eat one and see what it tastes like? Yeah. Here's another pretty one. That is also going soft, so I'm going to pick it. If I can. Oh no! We have that big one because it's so big. I'll bring it up first. But it feels right. Not big, but still young. Our bananas have started coming in, um, slowly going yellow, so we are picking about a bunch a week at the moment. Can't be bothered getting the ladder out, that's Luke's job. So for the purposes of this video, Luke said I should pick one bunch, and this is the one I'm doing. <laughs> this is the dirtiest of people. I know. But, because, you know, I don't want to spend my time chopping down the actual trunk or getting out the ladder. I don't have the body strength, so I'm gonna leave that part to Luke and uh, just hack away at this one. Dude. <laughs> Dad's gonna be like, what the heck is this? Yeah. So as you can see, some of these bananas um, are not really going to be edible. I mean, the pigs will eat them, um, but there are still some nice ones here. They will not take very long to go yellow. Um, some of them are already going yellow on the bottom. So I'll chuck it up next to the ripe bananas inside and before you know it, they'll be ready to eat. Apparently, all our corn has been demolished or something. I don't know. Eat it. Raven's found one here. Yeah. Apparently, I already knew that one. Apparently the kids have been eating them raw. So I'm gonna try one. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I haven't had one more. Well, so we are here picking corn right now because rats and whatever else have been 
eating them. So we're going to pick all the corn that we can find, I think. And potatoes, apparently. Because what's been eating the potatoes? Rats. And what else? Possums. Yeah. So save what we can for now. And we're going to be harvesting potatoes in a week's time. This is impossible to open. Up. You're like peeling it like a banana. You do that and then you rip it off like that. I feel like that's going to be a small corn. Very small. Even though it looks like it was going to be really cool. There's a lot of... <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh what happened to it? Pollination. Dad reckons that's not good pollination. No. That's actually nice. Yeah, it's okay. It just tastes like the normal corn. Most of those corn, I'm not going to eat. Seven, eight, sixteen, seventeen. Wow! So we have um, finished picking everything from the garden for our big harvest. Um, uh, unless Mum has forgotten something. Uh, oh, there we go. She's forgotten something. Um, <laughs> yeah, and so now it is time to bring it up top if the other kids cooperate. Okay, so that was our mid-January harvest. Yay, we are done. So I'm gonna eat this tomato. Um, <laughs> back off, guys. Yep. Um, anyhow, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Adina out. 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 Adina out.